As part of the Megazine product range, Neogen provides an extensive range of assay kits for use in various analyte determinations. This D-glucose test kit is a simple method for the rapid, reliable measurement and analysis of glucose in cereals, foodstuffs, beverages and other materials. This video tutorial will demonstrate the use of the kit with a filtered juice sample and a cereal sample in duplicate. The kit contains sufficient reagents for 660 assays and a detailed assay protocol is available to download from the product page on the Megzyme website. This assay is specific for the measurement of D-glucose. The principle of the D-glucose-GOPOD reaction involved in the measurement of glucose is shown in this figure. D-glucose in the sample is broken down by glucose oxidase in the presence of oxygen to release hydrogen peroxide and gluconate. In the presence of peroxidase, this hydrogen peroxide enters into a second reaction resulting in the quantitative formation of a quinamine dye complex, which can be measured at 510 nanometers. The amount of dye released is stoichiometric with the amount of D-glucose in the sample. It is the color change observed due to the release of this dye that is measured at 510 nanometers. Prior to sample analysis, the kit component should be prepared as described in the assay protocol. And once prepared, they are ready for use in the assay procedure. Use the contents of bottle three as supplied. Dilute the contents of one bottle one GoPod reagent buffer to one liter with distilled water. and mix thoroughly. This is solution one. This should be used immediately. Dissolve the contents of one bottle two GoPod reagent enzymes in approximately 20 milliliters of solution one and mix thoroughly. Quantitatively transfer this to the volumetric flask containing the rest of solution one. Rinse bottle 2 again, ensuring all GoPod reagent enzymes have been transferred to the volumetric flask. And make back to the 1 litre mark using the remaining solution 1. This is the glucose determination GoPod reagent. Transfer to a 1 litre Duran bottle covered with aluminium foil to protect from light and mix thoroughly. For longer term storage, divide into approximately 250 milliliter aliquots and store below minus 10 degrees Celsius. Refer to the assay protocol for stability information of this solution. Liquid samples can be used directly in the assay. Alternatively, a dilution may be required to ensure that D-glucose in the sample falls within the linear range of this assay. The linear range for this D-glucose assay is 4 to 100 micrograms of D-glucose. In this assay, we are using filtered fruit juice in duplicate, which we dilute 20 fold with distilled water by adding 2.5 milliliters of juice sample to a 50 milliliter volumetric flask and making up to the mark with distilled water. Once diluted accordingly, no further sample preparation should be required and a volume of 0.1 milliliters should be used in the assay. For solid samples, the sample must be ground to pass a 0.5 millimeter screen and ensure the sample is homogeneous. In this demonstration, we are using one gram of a ground cereal sample pre-weighed into 100 milliliter volumetric flasks in duplicate. Extract the sample by diluting to the mark with distilled water and mix thoroughly. 
Allow to extract over 10 minutes, heating if necessary. Filter the solution using Whatman No. 1 filter paper or equivalent. Use the clear filtrate for the assay. Follow the assay procedure as described in the assay protocol. Transfer 0.1 ml aliquots of the samples in duplicate into labelled glass test tubes. Prepare the reagent blank solutions by adding 0.1 ml of distilled water to a reagent blank tube. Prepare the deglucose standards by adding 0.1 ml of deglucose standard solution, bottle 3, to tubes in quadruplicate. Add 3 ml of GoPod reagent to all tubes, including all samples, blanks and standards. And mix thoroughly. Incubate at 40 to 50 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. After the 20 minute incubation period, measure the absorbance of each solution at 510 nanometers against the reagent blank. In this demonstration, we are using the Megaquant Wave Spectra Photometer, set to read at 505 nanometers. Alternatively, a recording spectrophotometer with 1 cm path length cuvettes can be used. The Megaquant Wave Spectrophotometer has set filters, so we are reading at 505 nanometers. Because the absorbance is relative to the glucose standard that is read at the same wavelength, it is possible to use a wavelength close to 510 nanometers, as demonstrated here. When performing this test on the Megaquant Wave Spectrophotometer, the absorbance mode feature must be used. The results will be printed via the onboard printer or the data can be exported to a computer using the SF Capture software. Please see your Megaquant Wave video for further details. The absorbance readings of the samples, blanks and standards are used to calculate the deglucose content in the test samples. In absorbance mode, the results output are raw absorbance values for both blank and samples. Therefore, the calculations of glucose content can be performed manually, as described in the calculation section of the assay protocol. Alternatively, we have also developed specific Excel-based MegaCalc applications for each kit of the MegaSime range to allow quick and easy results analysis. Results can be analyzed using the MegaCalc application specific to this glucose assay kit which is available to download free of charge from the Megazyme website. The Megacalc spreadsheet provides full instructions for use. Open the Megacalc worksheet and input the following. Sample details. Absorbance readings for the D-glucose standards. For each sample, input the sample identifier and the absorbance values for the sample in duplicate. If dilution of the sample has been performed, then input the dilution factor used. If no further dilution was performed, the dilution factor is 1. When all of the data has been entered, the concentration of D-glucose in the sample is automatically calculated and given as grams per litre in the original sample. For solid samples, input the concentration of the original sample extract in grams per litre. The concentration of D-glucose in the solid sample is then automatically calculated and provided as grams per 100 gram in the original sample.